Okay, hi and welcome to a new video of mine. This time I want to talk about something that I always wanted to talk about and this is a very spontaneous video. But let's get to the point because when you uh, clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to know how to love yourself. Because you want to be better to yourself. And that's a topic that I always wanted to talk about. I don't have a script. I don't have anything. Let's just get started. I just want to give you a few things on your way, on your self-love journey. And that is already one of the most important parts to know that this is a journey. You cannot love yourself on second day after you said, I want to love myself from now on. When you hated yourself so much in the past, it is a journey. So take it day by day. You don't have to love yourself by now. You should grow into love. Because if you are trying to love yourself so hard within a short period of time, this is not love. This is forced. You should grow into love. You should not force love because forced love is not love. But why should you even love yourself? You know, first of all, something that I want to talk about is that love has nothing to do with gender. It is also so important for people that have more masculine energy like men that they love the, themselves too and why because you have to think about it you, you came here by yourself and you're going to be the last person that is going to be with you you're going to be with yourself all the time see yourself as a friend see yourself as your best friend why should you hate yourself when you can love yourself all the time you have to go through life with yourself so why not see yourself as a friend instead of a hater? We all know this inner voice, the inner critic that we have, which is a part of us. Loving yourself means to accept yourself, to accept the way that you are. Because you know what? You are special the way that you are. There is not a second version of you that is just like you. A person has so many different character traits. No one could ever be you and you could never be someone else. And that is a superpower. For real, you are so special, remember that. You know, loving yourself makes your life so much easier. Most of the times, we let ourselves stop ourselves because of insecurities. We don't want to do this, we don't want to do that because we are insecure, because we want to please other people. No, I want to I wanna learn this, but my parents don't want me to do it. Yeah, but it's something that you want to do. It is something that you can do. The only person that is stopping you is yourself because you can do it you can take the risk taking a risk means that you're going to lose something else instead but that also comes with accepting you know you have to learn how to accept certain things especially yourself no one is perfect stop comparing yourself this is also another very very important uh, comparison is the thief of joy and you know that you cannot be someone else. You have to accept it. And I personally am a who struggle a lot with accepting and who is still struggling a lot with accepting. But what is the definition of accepting? Accepting means that you see something as it is. You see it as a fact. My best friend told me you can compare it to numbers. It's like 2 plus 2 is 4 and you cannot change it. So why would you change it if it's something that you cannot change? So try to accept yourself that is the first step of loving yourself how to love yourself accept yourself for the person that you are accept yourself for all the traits that you have for being clingy for being emotional for being angry most of the times for everything that you are insecure about about your nose about your character traits um that is the first thing and then comes appreciation love you know but love takes time so maybe it starts with accepting and being nice to yourself. Well, I am not really good at um, baking, but what I can do really good is uh, like play soccer or something. Or I'm not really good at doing my hair, but I love to pick out really creative outfits. And that's cool. Like try to be nice to yourself. When you tell yourself something the whole time, it stays in your subconscious mind. You have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. And you have to remember that your subconscious mind is like a little child. It is like your inner child. Whatever you say, 
no matter if it's true or not it's going to be in your subconscious mind you're going to remember that all the time for example someone tells you hey you're ugly it's something that you think about and you know uh, our human brains are function to always think about our problems about the things that are bad about the things that we have to change as a survival thing you know that is normal there to protect us but you know what most of the times we don't need to be protected it's not like we are living in a world where we live with tigers and bears and stuff next to our house we don't have to worry about certain things because we live in another generation we live in another time zone we live in another generation where it is okay to be yourself where people do not care in most of the countries how you look how much you weight what skin color do you have? You know, the people are more open up. The generation is changing. The society is changing. Like, we keep pushing all our problems to the society, I feel like. But you know what? Personally, I think the society is us. And we are changing. So change is a part of it. Accept the change. And what I'm trying to say with that is, uh, it is okay to be yourself. Be yourself. You know what? It is in our hands to recreate our minds and ourselves to become the person that you want to be you have to act like it act like the person fake it till you make it was something that other people told me before when i was a person that did not love myself they told me fake it until you make it i did not get it if you want to love yourself you have to reprogram your mind your mind you have so much power power over your mind without even knowing you have so much power over your mind without even knowing and whatever you tell yourself that is the truth for you so tell yourself all the nice things tell, appreciate yourself more appreciation gratitude that is a big point a big 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 point have appreciate yourself for the things that you do appreciate yourself for waking up tell yourself everything that you want to hear in the mirror tell yourself hey I'm so proud of myself for waking up today, even though I felt so drained. I am so happy that I'm here because if I wouldn't be here, my friends wouldn't be as happy as they are. I am so grateful that I have uh, like a lot of hair because I used to have not as much hair in the past. I am so grateful for myself. You know, it doesn't have to do with looks all the time. True love comes within, true beauty comes from within and you will feel it. Have you ever felt the beauty of another person and that was just like their kindness, especially? So be kind to yourself. Why shouldn't you not be kind to yourself? Because you deserve it. You deserve someone to be kind to. And that's also another thing. If you love yourself, you don't expect it from other people, you know? Sometimes we think that when we don't love ourselves, other people could, could give us the love that we need. But that is not the case. I had so many ex experiences in the past. And you cannot take love if you don't even give yourself love. Other people can only get to know you as much as you know yourself. Other people can only love you as much as you love yourself. That is why people always say you have to love yourself first before you go into a relationship when you have this person that you always dream of this dream guy this dream girl she's in your life she's secure she's everything that's going to it's not going to be as how you expect it to be you will see that there are a lot of things that you are going to that you have to work on it's not about finding the love of your life in someone else it is about finding the love of your life within yourself you will notice at some point in your life how important it is to be kind to yourself how important it is to love yourself Other people can only love you as much as you love yourself now when you have already accepted yourself which also takes a lot of time when you have already been grateful for yourself that is already that already means that you're doing a lot of things you know that is already a big step but the word in the panic. When you tell yourself everything that you want to hear, it is about action. Exactly. Give yourself everything that you want to have. You know, what I like to do is, um, you know, we keep fantasizing about other people in a way that, oh my God, my type is someone 
who dresses like this. Mm -hmm. But why should you not dress like this? Mm -hmm. You know, then you're also going to love yourself more. You can also do the things that this person likes. And um, when it comes to our partners, it's actually a reflection of ourselves. Um, one example would be, other people are the mirrors to ourselves. Whether it is in the things that we hate, in the things that we love, about ourselves, hate about ourselves, and in the things that we want. For example, when it comes to love, my biggest love language that I express the most is words of affirmations. So when another person tells me how much they love me, for example, my best friend Amy, when she wrote me a letter to my birthday, I started off crying because it meant so much to me. So that is also something that tells something about you, you know? That's something that you can get to know about yourself. So interesting, I think. And also about the things that we hate about other people. For example, we have this one coworker who talks too much and you are just so annoyed about this person. Is it because you just wish that you could talk as much too? Is it because you wish that other people would listen to you too, would understand you too? What is it? Dive deep into it. That is like the inner work that you can do. But that is for another video. I want to talk about it in another video. Most important part is accept who you are. Get to know yourself. Get to know yourself. Do things by yourself. That is the biggest advice that I have for you. If you want to go out and all of your friends are busy, just go out by yourself. I did that 100 times when I was traveling, when I was in Cambodia. I went out by myself and every time I went out, I don't know why I met celebrities all the time. I met Vanda, I met Kesho, I was in a studio with someone, I had a shooting and stuff. Those things I'm going to show you in my vlogs that are coming up in a few months or weeks or so when I am done with my videos. But I'm just saying you should just go out by yourself and do the things that you really want to do. Don't be scared about the opinions of others because at the end of the day, no one cares. You have to imagine, um, you are on TikTok, for example. You see this video of this person who is being judged for their looks or something else. And maybe you also have an opinion, but at the end of the day, after a few hours, you won't even remember. You won't even remember. And that's the same with other things. If you go out there, wear something that you are kind of insecure of, at the end of the day, no one will remember because because at the end of the day, everyone is so focused on themselves. And that is natural. That is normal. Why should we care about what one person wore the other day? We won't remember. But the only thing that we remember is the actions. The actions from other people. So remember to be kind. That has nothing to do with the topic. But remember to be kind to other people. Because you don't know what people are going through. Respect yourself. If you don't know how to love yourself, how to respect yourself, then try to imagine yourself to be another person. Try to imagine yourself as your best friend. How would you treat a person that you would love? How would you treat your best friend? Would you still say all of those things that you're saying now? Like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Would you say all of this to your best friend? Would you say all of this to a person that you love? Probably not. And if you do, maybe it's not that you really mean it. And that's the same thing with respect. You want to respect yourself more. Think about it that way. How would you respect someone else? You are not mean. You show respect through actions. For example, you don't make fun about you 24-7. You have your boundaries. Set boundaries. That's also something that is very important. You have your own boundaries and you respect them. If you don't want to do something, then you're not going to do it. If you have this boundary, you're not going to cross it. That is how you respect yourself. Setting boundaries. You don't want to go out at this and this time. You don't want to go out today because you don't feel like it. It's okay. Other people will understand. And if not, then you will understand. Then you will just protect your own boundary. And at first, this will feel so uncomfortable. But you'll get used to it. Only because it feels like you did something wrong, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just that you're not used to setting boundaries yet. You know what I'm saying? So I try to do that and I could talk about it for hours. But I think that's it for the, for the beginning. I also want to show you some books that helped me a lot with loving myself. But why they helped me so much is because those books were about self-improvement. I realized that I want a better life for myself. I realized that there is potential 
and you know what and every person is potential you want to change your life then you can make it but it's going to be a journey and you have to be ready for it and you know that you got this i can recommend you is, are those two books especially good vibes good life by vex king this helped me a lot it doesn't only help you to read it also is important like the steps towards this goal so do it you can do it you can do it you can do it loving yourself is so important because how we view the world is only how we view ourselves so if we hate a lot we probably also are very self-critic to ourselves and just remember you cannot change yourself within a few days it takes time the day you plant a seed is not the day where the flower blooms and grows it takes time the only person that is stressing you is yourself take it easy take it day by day you got this you completely you totally got this and you know this tell yourself all the things that you want to hear put notes on your wall where you write down all the things that you want to hear in the present tense i am not i'm going to be i am smart i am beautiful i am brave i am enough i am more than enough i'm not perfect but i am just enough tell yourself all the things that you want to hear that's called affirmation uh, there are also other ways how you can just be nice to yourself but keep it simple start with accepting yourself or just being kind to yourself you know it takes time to love a person you cannot love a person from the day that you have seen them because this would be very on the surface you know if you want to dig deep into it you have to take time it just takes time good things take time so take the time for yourself and love yourself to the end of this video i want to tell you a few things that i think are so important to hear if you cannot tell yourself this uh, let me help you with it you are enough you are beautiful, you are brave, you are smart, you are intelligent, you can do this, you can achieve your goals. You are a winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are yeah. A winner. Tell you them, got tell this, bro. bro. You got this, sis. I believe in you. The things that I just said, please tell them yourself until you don't have to hear from me anymore or other people anymore. Because you don't need the validation of other people that don't know you. You don't need the validation of other things that are outside of your control. The, other, the only thing that you can control is yourself. The rest you have to accept. The things that you can change, try to change them. The things that you have to accept, accept them. And that is how you go with the flow. Going with the flow means that you try to change the things that you have to change within yourself because that's what you can do but you cannot change the actions of other people when other people are mean to you then you have to protect yourself you have to tell yourself okay it's okay it has nothing to do with me because as i already told you when people are mean to you it actually has nothing to do with you it never has anything to do with you it is always a reflection of others doesn't mean that you don't make mistakes we all make mistakes i make mistakes and we have to see our mis mistakes too. This is not loving yourself when you deny your mistakes, when you deny your flaws. This is called narcissism. It's something else. And maybe uh, you also got in touch with the term of narcissism. I don't want to talk about it too much. But still, true self-love is something else. So, I wish you good luck on this journey. If you have more questions, just ask them. Put them in the comments and I'm going to answer them. And especially if you want to have a part two or if I should talk about something more in detail. This was just a very spontaneous video because I always wanted to do this. I always wanted to help people with my knowledge that I have. So this would be something. I hope this helps you um, and see you next time. I love you. I hope you love yourself even more.